Hi guys, welcome to the show today. This is still Juliet. Today we have Dana. She is the director and CEO of Polycare. She is here to let us in in her business. Hi Dana, how are you doing? Good, good. Thank you so much for having me, Juliet. Yeah. <laughs> so then, you know, your story is so, you know, going through your LinkedIn page mm -hmm. is so inspiring. Mm -hmm. Coming from education, education background, which is teaching right. for over, spanned over 10 years. Yeah, and even more. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you're like, here. Can you please, you know, give us a little bit history on how, you, what led you to kill? Sure, yeah, of course. Um, so, like you said, I was a teacher for a long time. I taught for 18 years. Um, and you know, mostly elementary schools uh, mm -hmm. age students, and um, yeah, I just always knew that if I wasn't teaching, I would still be doing something where I'm helping people. Um, in my twenties, I had um, a couple situations in my own family where we needed help ourselves with my great grandmother and my great grandfather, yeah. uh, and you know they ended up going into long-term care and the care that they had was just, it, I just wish there was a little bit more for yeah. them, right? And so um, if we had something like, you know, quality care, home care for them, um, we definitely would have hired, you know, somebody to come and give us that extra support. So yeah. I just knew that, um, just based on my own personal story, I knew that it would uh, be something I'd do if I wasn't teaching anymore. Oh, nice. At what points did you, you know, have the feeling or notice there was something missing that you needed to switch to a different career paths. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's something necessarily missing. It's just I knew back in my twenties when I had my situation with my grandparents, my, yeah, my family when they went through their own um, struggles of you know aging like uh, family members. I just knew like deep down that something I eventually wanted to do. Okay. Um, and you know, when COVID hit, it really kind of opened my eyes to like, okay, what do I really want to do here? Like <laughs> I love teaching. I love kids. Yeah. I still do. Um, there's lots of parts of it that I miss, mm -hmm. but there was just that it's something inside me that was just like, okay, like you want to do that too. Mm -hmm. And so what, what kind of steps do you need to take to get to that point? Um, and I actually, you know, have a good friend who was in teaching before and she went into the business world and, okay. you know, is quite successful and she owns her own um, consulting agency, okay. uh, helping people find franchises. Yeah. So I reached out to her. She's the one who kind of helped me through this process okay. and it kind of sped up the process for me and just kind of allowed me to, you know, focus on, okay, yeah. what do I want if I do make this transition? Yeah. So it wasn't just a random, like, I'm going to go and talk yes. you know, so um, it, there was a lot of research and thought that went mm -hmm. into it, and it, it took COVID to kind of really make me think, like, is this what I want for the rest of my life, or do I want to still help people just in a different direction? Okay. So, um, yeah, that's, oh, that that's, that's how it kind of came together. And mm -hmm. of course, lots of research and, and work went into the, the transition part of it. Yeah. Um, I don't want to glorify anything because <laughs> it was definitely trick, you know, tricky in yeah. parts and lots of hard work and, you know, just making sure like even finances are in place yeah. before you make well, this transition. Yeah, um, I didn't want to just jump into it. And, so yeah, that's, <laughs> and um, you know, is there? Do you think there is any skills or you know any knowledge that was transferred from teaching to care work? Of course, yeah. I mean, that compassion is always going to be like behind whatever I do, right? Yeah. So whether it's with children or with people who just need that extra bit of help, mm -hmm. um, that's there, right? Yeah. Um, I also feel like um, my skills in just organizing things and making yeah. sure things are taken care of. I think that was very much a teacher skill. It mm -hmm. transfers to now um, because I have a team that, you know, I do have to manage yeah. and make sure that uh, people are th where they're supposed yeah. to be and organized. Um, and then just the ability to be able to um, connect and talk to clients and, and their families mm -hmm. is very much like, you know, talking to students and, and their families, yeah. right? So um, just making sure that... Um, I'm able to explain to them all the things that they need and um, how we can move forward and in a safe manner. Those are all things I did as a teacher too, right? Just yeah. in a different level. So yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. So uh, how many years have you been in the in the care in the care industry? Yeah. So this is my second year, oh, wow. um, and I know it seems like a like a dramatic you know transition, yeah. um, but I did buy into a franchise, which okay. you know they. It, they gave you everything that you required. Oh, okay. Of course, there was lots of learning, but you know, um, I think that helps in terms of 
what I needed to do and where I needed to start, right? So oh, nice. explain to us the model of your business. You know, there are different types of care work, right? Mm -hmm. In care, the care industry. What model do you run? Yeah, so um, what we do is we provide home care. So we have healthcare aides or nurses that go into people's homes. Okay. Um, so our main um, focus is to try to keep people at their homes for as long as possible, mm -hmm. you know, in a safe way, right? Okay. So um, if we ever feel like something needs to change, of course, that's a discussion we'll have with the family. But uh, a lot of people want to stay at home, yeah. right? You know, <laughs> and um, it's possible and we can yeah. do that. And and so that's um, our biggest thing is that we want to keep people at home for as long as they want to. Yeah. As long as it's safe, then we can do that. Okay, so is, is it limited to seniors or, you know, is, if anyone is incapacitated? Yeah. Know, yeah, no, it's not. I mean, yeah. a lot of people think like, oh, well, this is for all yeah. older people. But um, no, it's not limited to just seniors. It's um, It can be seniors, anybody with um, a disease or a disability that yeah. just prevents them from living, you know, yeah, um, normal life. yeah, like a normal life, right? Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, we have different people of, of different ages. Um, we help anybody from 18 up, right? So okay. that's that's our scope of practice, yeah. And if someone wants to get in touch with your company, what's the best method, of, you know, the best way of reaching out to you? Yeah, so the great thing is um, because Qualicare is a franchise, you know, yeah. we are across Canada and the United States. Mm -hmm. um, there's three Qualicare franchise owners in the city. Oh, nice. um, so, you know, look up Qualicare Home Care and then it'll, depending on which part of the city you live in, okay. um, that's where you'll find the number to contact us. Okay. Um, we're also, you know, we've got a great website to explore, um, social media, we're on there too. So mm -hmm. if you just want some more information before you even call us, you can always explore that way too. Okay, so I will leave the link to your website and social media handles in case you need to reach out to them for care. But What's your advice for anyone who wants to you know, venture into a similar business? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, mm -hmm. steps to take. Is there like a certification exam or something you need to do before right. to get there? Yeah. Right. Uh, because I'm not healthcare trained. Yeah. I mean, I'm not the one doing the the care. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm the one who just organizes it and hires You're the like people. The manager, yeah. yeah, exactly. That yeah. Um, making sure that I have a good team behind me so that we can provide the correct care. So I don't want to sit here and pretend that I know. Okay. You know, like I'm not a nurse, I'm okay. not, you know, medically trained, but I hire the right people for that to help me. So um, I think, you know, if you can just make sure that, um, you know, the, the good thing is Qualicare gave me a working formula, right? It's, yeah, model, yeah, yeah, exactly, a model. Mm -hmm. And, you know, follow that, then, then you should be able to, you know, do what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, there's, of course, a lot of guidelines and policies that you sure. got to follow and um yeah i think as long as you do that you you'll be you'll be okay right and yeah. of course as any business owner you have to have grit and, and tenacity <laughs> and, and sure. be willing to fail and get out there and try again <laughs> right so trying, yeah, yeah i think those are all things that um characteristics that will also help yeah. um this hasn't been an easy journey i don't mm -hmm. want to sit here and say like oh yeah it just fell into my lap and everything just kind of worked from there like it's a lot of hard work yeah, right it and is. it's yeah when you own your own business um you care 100 percent and more and so if you don't have that drive then you know of course that's something you need to look yeah. into yourself and see if that exists right yeah. and um and if you do and you have the compassion to do it and the passion to do it then mm -hmm. I think um, you'll do well, right? Oh. Do the research. Right? Yeah, so, nice. Yeah. Okay, so for me, coming from a business owner, the most challenging part mm. is hiring the right people. Yeah. What's the ch most challenging parts of your job? You know, being like a manager, managing people. What's yeah. the most challenging job? I think that's one of them for sure, mm -hmm. right? Making sure that you have like the right people um, on your team. Uh, I also think that um, that also comes with good leadership, right? Mm -hmm. You know, having your team in place and you know having them know what your direction is what the philosophy of the company is so if you're not clear with that i think um that's where you might lose people mm -hmm. um and then just treating them with respect and you know kind and caring and compassion all those yeah. things if you're not treating your staff well they're not going to treat your clients well sure. right so i think it does kind of trickle down and um that is a uh, you know, in the beginning, especially, it was like, oh, you know, lots of, um, you know, people coming in and out. But, um, you know, I think there's a really good core group uh, of caregivers and team 
you know, team members on my, um, yeah, on my team that are fantastic. So, you know, I think just picking the right people, right? Picking yeah. the right people with the right qualifications uh, and not settling. Yeah. Um, because I think that's where you kind of get lost. <laughs> get, right. yeah. yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I'd say that and, you know, just making sure you manage everything, everything. with time too, right? So in the beginning, you do a lot of it yourself, but yeah. now, you know, I'm able to hire the right people for, mm -hmm. you know, different positions. And I think yeah. that's helpful. Oh, nice. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming today. And if anyone wants to get in touch with you directly, maybe they need care. Yeah. How do you, how they email yeah, sure. You, you can yeah. contact me um, directly. Um, just reach address? out to my email address. Okay, I'll leave that too. Yeah, my phone number too. Okay. Um, call me directly, actually, even on my cell or my business line, mm -hmm. and you can leave that information as well. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, those are the best ways to get a hold of me. Okay, so apart from Alberta and BC, which part of Canada again do you guys come from? Yeah, so Koala Care is also in BC, okay. Ontario. Um, I hear that there maybe even in the East Coast there okay. might be one opening up, um, and then for sure places in the states as well. All right. Yeah. So thank you very much, and thank you, Dana, for honoring our invitation. We yes. truly appreciate it. Yeah. And thank you for inviting me. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so thank you, guys. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.